15th, we are getting ready to head out and go purchase the car for Lieutenant Jonathan Rosier. Get closer and closer to get this car over to Texas. It's an exciting morning and it's because of you guys helping out. First stop, AF Collision. How's it looking? It looks like a Dalmatian on the <laughs> Right. Dog. Um, for an older car, I am very impressed with the condition of the car. We will end up painting it complete. AF Collision is very busy, but they're happy to squeeze it in and make this miracle happen. Yeah, my boys are very excited and they'll do whatever it takes to work all the time to do this. Yeah, patriotism runs deep in this community. Utah is really stepping up to help out this soldier and this family out in Texas. We're excited to be a part of it. We don't have to be in uniform to be soldiers. Uh, we could be soldiers wherever we are. The car right now is not looking real sexy. The one thing that the 99 uh, Toyota GT does not have is a cup holder. But the rag top looks pretty good. Interiors are right. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if every bit of this car gets touched before it heads to Texas. It's hard to explain that it feels good that a person can do, like you say, you don't have to be in uniform. So it gives us a, a little bit of what they get to feel by wearing a uniform. Start in an off the ground hand deliver. I think that's pretty appropriate. It's oh yeah. in God we trust. We are back at AF Collision today. Oof. We're going to do some work on this uh, soldier's car. The guys here at AF Collision are rough and tough and know how to do it right. Let's go see if we can get on board. I wore my mechanic shirt today. Maybe I can get a job. Hey, come on. Come on, watch the gear in here. Right. What do you got here? What do you got here? After hours, these guys are busting their butt to squeeze this soldier's car in. We're going to move it, put it up on the hoist makes life a little bit easier. The cool thing is though, is if you crash and bump it into anything, you're at the body shop already. The western side of America, a good old body shop. on this car we have Brian's auto glass here a mobile outfit another Patriot that's helping us out and getting this car done right so look flags are flying in here Mark and Gavin are in here setting up plastic prep and covering getting ready to blow some paint out the end of the gun and make this thing look brand new let me explain what it means to you to be able to give this. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have had the talents to do this right. and to give back, right? Yeah. So if it weren't for my dad, I wouldn't be able to give back right now. I came across a really cool part of the story here. Someone special here is putting his hands and labor into working on this car. This is Gavin. Gavin's getting ready to serve our country. So I decided to join the United States Navy. I leave November for boot camp. It's going to be a good experience. Hopefully, it can change many lives. I don't know where you're finding your news anymore, but there is good news happening in America, and it's right here in the shop. <laughs>
getting some upholstery done at Brigham Young University. The Utes weren't going to do it. They started out looking really rough, um, had some tears in them, a lot of wear on them. And the guys took one look at them and decided, you know, we better recover these chairs. I'm going to stop and get them some donuts. <laughs> And you have to do it shoeless. <laughs> I'm taking vacation time. I'm doing it how I like. <laughs> <laughs> These are wheels, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, those are wheels. <laughs> I can see how excited this yeah. kid is going to be. Oh yeah. yeah. This one, Jake, uh, just yesterday got his learner's permit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kids. That's right. Yeah. How does it make you feel to know that you're working on some seeds? Soldier has sat in no longer with us. It's kind of cool to be able to give back to a family who has given the ultimate sacrifice. This back piece, we've taken it down to a company called West Pro, and uh, this will be a black vinyl, and right in here will be a American flag waving. When I told him the story, he actually had seen it on the news, and so he was already familiar. He didn't hesitate to, to volunteer. So repairing these old seats, here's what they look like, here's what they are going to be finished. I asked the guys if they found anything, any treasures, so they showed me these three dimes and a penny that came out of these seats. These very well could have come out of the pocket of Jonathan. <laughs> guys another stage in the soldiers car we're at, we're at jam masters in american fork utah they they are starting to tear into this old celica they've actually pulled out got the combo so what's that you're putting in it ty <laughs> we're gonna do the indie designs 1100 series components ty and i <laughs> may not know what music was playing back in 99. oh i know what music was playing i was young so on the radio in 99, I'll be honest, I was probably listening to a little Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. <laughs> Bye, Sister Fox. Bye, Sister Fox. <laughs> hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Sweet. We're on the road. Headed to Tejas. Yeehaw! <laughs> got a straight road ahead of us, straight road behind us. For about, for about three more hours. We haven't even hit Texas yet. 
been in communication with Jessica. A lot to do tomorrow morning. Get up and go, pack, clean the car, empty it and get this car delivered. All this sacrifice has absolutely no comparison to this family and what they've gone through. The ultimate sacrifice of Jonathan uh, fighting for our freedoms in our country. A little bit of time on the road with these good guys here in the back seats. Absolutely no comparison. We've been looking forward to tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm preparing for a little bit of waterfall coming off my face. Man up with the beard. It offsets the tears. I think it's been, it's been fun sitting in this car, tinkering with all the knobs and switches and getting to know the car as we've been driving it. I'm just thinking that in a, in a day or so, the young man's gonna have an opportunity to do that same thing and, and get to know this car for himself and for a whole different reason, which is way cool. Right, it's Friday morning, leaving St. Angelo. Looked like it rained on Soldier's car. We're headed into town to make the delivery today. Well, we rolled the dice at the gas station. Got somebody to make it That's great. Smells okay. It's going in smooth. Bull's gone through a McMuffin and a donut in like four minutes. We're cutting through this beautiful country in Texas. Lots and lots of farmland. I know where my underwear and socks come from. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You come out in the middle of nowhere with not very good service. It's beautiful out here though. That's the whole country is without it. Yeah, we're loving what we're seeing. How are you feeling about all this, Jessica? I'm so excited right now. So I'm just like, I can't wait to see it. I don't know. I can't, even, I can't believe y'all made it, first of all. Like, that was just crazy, <laughs> like this trip that y'all took. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. All Thanks, right. Jessica. Thank you. We're at the Kerrville <laughs> Fire stop. Department. Going to be escorting us uh, down the country road. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. He's giving him a field promotion. Uh, you know, or demotion, whatever. <laughs> Daniel, what's your name? So, these are our sons. Daniel. So, are they driving? Yeah, they're doing a little bit of late night driving for us. Missing someone. Alright, so now we are uh, walking down the lane to go get the car. The family's gone inside to uh, do the birthday cake, blow out the candles, and that's our cue to come in. So, very close to showing Justin this car of his, of his father. Alright, 11 a.m. <laughs> Texas time. Justin has eyes on us.
Jeez. You just car? Car. Yeah, car. Yeah, drive. No, not playing the water. Let's go see what daddy's doing. <laughs> he held that same steering wheel. He learned to drive a stick on this car. You look just like him sitting in this. Let me give you a shout at this, Justin, but if you can't answer it, don't worry about it because I don't think there is an answer. But is there a way to put into words what this means to you to have this back here? Hey, just knowing how this is and I'm driving it now is. Pretty cool. <laughs> There's a lot of love outside your family that went into this. A lot of people went into doing this. They all wanted to do this for you so that you have a piece of their dad. Your dad's a hero. This is real big. But you see, you got two of them. You don't have to. I'm glad I could do this for you. Happy birthday, baby. You like seeing him behind the wheel. I'm oh, sorry, you know how we just said you look so much like John sitting right there? You do. You're like the spitting image of him. But I feel like when you, the first time you drive this car down that driveway and leave, and I see your hair blowing in the wind like your dad said, it's going to feel like he's sitting right next to you. Seeing that car come up the driveway, you know how we never got to see your dad come home? <laughs> seeing that car come up the driveway was like seeing him come home. 
I'm so glad we could do this for you. There's that butterfly again, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> Dang, You're on Facebook Live. Smile. There were a lot of people that helped out with the car watching live on Facebook. We're going to drive out the gate and come back. Don't wreck it. I'll try. I'll try not to. <laughs> it's been a while since I drove this uh, this car. What do you think? It is cool, isn't it? Is this...